today I have what I hope will be a super fun, easy DIY project for you. I got this idea off of Pinterest, but the original website it comes from is called poppytalk.com, so I will have that link down below if you'd like to check that out. And yeah, today's project is going to be watercolor painted mugs, and you just need a few simple things. First, you're going to need white ceramic mugs that you want to decorate. I got these at the thrift store for 50 cents each, so this could be an extremely cheap project, or you can get white mugs anyway. And then you're going to need nail polish in the colors that you want to paint your mugs. And then all you're going to need is a disposable bowl or a bowl you don't mind ruining. And you're going to fill the bowl with warm water. And then if you want, this step is optional, but toothpicks or a skewer or something like that. So this is supposed to be extremely simple. And I actually did do this once before, but it turned out while I was filming, I was facing away from the camera about 40% of the time and you couldn't hear what I was saying. So here I am doing it again. And let's just get your bowl and you fill it with warm water. And then you just decide what colors you want to use. For the first cup, I'm going to use these two colors. And you're going to do one color at a time. You just pour a little bit of the nail polish right into the bowl. Just a couple drops should be fine. And you let it spread out for a couple seconds. Or you can use the toothpick to swirl it around and make any design you want. However it looks in the bowl, it's going to end up looking on your cup. So make sure you're happy with it. And then you're going to just take your cup and dip it straight in to the nail polish with water. You dip it in. You pull it out. And there you go. Doesn't that look awesome? And the neat thing about this is if you want, if you don't like how it turned out immediately, you can wipe off anything you don't like with nail polish remover. And so once you pull it out, you just give it a second and then pat it dry with a paper towel. Don't rub it or anything because you don't want to ruin what you did. Maybe I should have let it sit a little bit longer because it did get a little bit of the paper towel texture on it. So just wait a couple more seconds than I did maybe, but I think that looks really cool. And you can do one color, you can do as many colors as you want, just make sure you do one at a time. Just kind of showing up as shimmer, so we're going to try it out and see what we think. We might end up doing another color, I'm not sure. So again, you just dip it in really quick and pull it out, pat it dry. Okay, so yeah, the gold wasn't can you see there is a little bit of gold there, but the gold wasn't necessarily the best option. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do the red again so I can get some on this side. But like I said, you could do this with as many colors as you want, and then when you're done, you just let it dry for at least two hours. I would say closer to four or five hours just to be on the safe side. And then just make sure you hand wash them because they can, I mean, if you're scrubbing extremely hard, the polish might come off, but I think they'll last for a while. So yeah, really quick again, I'm just going to use the red. I should probably dump the water, but we'll see how it and works. And there you go. Again, if you don't like anything that's going on on your cup, you can use nail polish remover to remove it. If you're super worried about the color disappearing, you could always cover it with um, a non-toxic clear nail polish or a top base coat. Oh, I like that. I kind of, I like the way that turned out. So that's the first one. I am going to do one more just to show you guys. So yeah, let's start fresh with new water. I'm going to start the second cup. I'm going to use this blue one and this pink color. I'm going to start with the blue. And I think this would be a great gift for the coffee lover in your life um, or the tea drinker. You could do this on bowls, on anything really, as long as it's a white ceramic. And it's such an easy way to, um, you know, personalize a gift, make it your own. Or just, you know, something fun to do with your kids even. There are so many things you could do with this. And everyone you do is going to turn out so different. So that's the great thing about it. And you can make them, you know, your own. You could do them for holidays or gifts. Again, whatever you want to do. And it's super simple. And it is kind of fun. So just go ahead and dip it. And see, everyone is going to turn out so different. So there you go. I'm going to do the pink. I'm just going to do the pink right in here. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. I'm just swirling it around with the toothpick a little bit to give it a little more shape. I may have used too much in this one. I'm not sure. 
That's kind of a lot of nail polish, but whatever. We're going to dip it. Yeah, that one I used a little much. Ah. Oh well, I'm going to go in with a little bit more blue. I'm going to wait a minute to wipe these off because I don't want them to get all blotchy like the first one did. So now I'm just going to go in with the blue one more time. Kind of overlap them a little bit, make them connect a little better. And there you go. So there you have it. Here are how my two cups turned out. Everyone's are going to turn out different. They're completely unique and your own. You can use whatever colors you want, things like that. And just make sure you wipe out any of the paint that got on the inside before you let them dry down really well and from the bottom. And yeah, here we go. Here are the DIY paint splatter cups. I will show you on the Pinterest picture of the expectation versus reality because it is they do come out pretty messy and I don't know maybe that's because I'm impatient and don't do enough swirling of the colors and things like that but the Pinterest picture look looks like this so yeah it's sort of close to reality I don't know I think you really have to play around with the types of polish you use and find out what works best but I do think this is a fun little DIY crafty type project. And again, I think it's great for gifts and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you try it out yourselves, let me know down below. And if you have any ideas for me to make videos like this in the future, things you'd like me to try out, just leave those again in the comment section. And as always, I hope you guys are doing good. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.